I'm going to show you here how I have been using Canvas, creating a daily page so students can see what's happening on that day. I show the assignment at the start, they get the learning objectives, they get what we're doing, the agenda for the day, and also if a student's absent, they can pop in here instead of saying, what did we do yesterday? So here I've set this as the home page for them. Um, and this is going to have, I just started with 180 and I'm working my way down. You'll see it helps me to sort it out on a different page. So let me go down here to pages. I'll get to see all of my pages here. And got to remember to give it time. Every once in a while it slows down. Okay, so, so this is my default home page. If I click on view all pages, I can see that my internet isn't too fast apparently. <laughs> um, I can see here I've made it a sort by title um, so I can see that's why I use the 177 creation date sometimes I do something ahead of another one so I just found putting those numbers in there helps. So we don't actually have 180 days right with the blocks we get a little less but I, let, I started with the 180 just because that's kind of a popular number for class. So I have created a page here that I haven't published yet. I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to edit this page. If I click on it, we'll see the page that the students will see. And again, I start with my learning objectives up top. Um, we've been working on essentially lab designs. Um, so here's their classwork. Um, we're doing this little pretest. I'm going to do one edit on here to show you how to add a link. Um, and we're going to turn that click here to start. And there's their homework as well. So they know everything they need to do. If I go up here to edit, it opens up the editor for this. Oftentimes you'll first see a whole bunch of code. And then once the WYSIWYG editor pops up, um, what you see is what you get. Once that pops up, come on, there we go. Now um, I can do, I, I see it the way it should be without all the code. So just be a little patient if that's going there. So I want to click here to start to start what? I want to start a quiz. It's set up as a quiz. It's not technically a quiz, but that, that was the format that I wanted to use. So if I click here on that, it's just going to show up right there. And that's a link. So maybe what I need, I want to include all of that as the link. So I'm going to go click here to start the physics. I always go one letter in and that way you're sure you have it as part of your link um, as well. And let's get rid of all that now. There it is and I'm just going to say that looks a little big. So if I get the whole thing I can downsize the font a little bit so it'll only show up on one line. I don't necessarily need 24. Let's try 18. That's good. Fits on one line. Got everything in here. Um, I could put another link here to if I wanted to show them the assignment um, that is the um, building a model or the, here the group the lab report conclusion I could stick that in there as well so now I'm ready to save and publish this I'm going to click on save and publish the kids can see it if anybody's wondering what what we're doing Monday I can put it up there for them um, the quiz is actually not open yet so you can set the time that that's open so that they can't see it ahead of time. Um, so I want to show you one other thing I did here. If I go back to home, now I want to add this 177 in here. So I go back to my home page and I want to edit it because I want to put in 177. Again, I guess I'm running a little slow today, but that's okay. All right, maybe I'll speed up the playback or something. Play it back. Play this back at 1.2 times. Okay, so here I'm going to go to the start of this, hit enter. Now, right there, I can go over here, and here's 177. I just click there, and it shows up. Now I save this. Now the students will will see that Monday assignment as well. Um, one other piece I want to show you that I've been doing with them is there's what's called a, where'd it go, discussions. Um, what I've started doing, instead of them sending me an email, 
I said, I want you to post your question online. And here's a the introduce yourself. They did already. I'm not going to click on that. Um, but they have some answers in there, but it'll show their name. So we're just going to leave that private for now. But if I click on this one, no one's, this is just started with this lab. So this weekend, I want them to be able to chat with each other asynchronously. Um, so they can, they can post a question here. Um, if they, if, so if someone posts a question, I'm trying to get them to say, hey, like it, right? If, um, if you, if the question helped, if the question was something that you had difficulty with as well, like it. I now know that's a question many students are having difficulty with. If my answer helps you out, like that. That way I know that was a good answer. They can also attach a reply to a question that was asked and answered. And they say, I still don't quite get it. Can you give me a different angle on that? And then I'll see that. So it'll all be in one nice threaded discussion. So that's something I've used in the past with Schoology that works pretty well in the Canvas system seems to work about the same. So I think that, that's helpful to me. Instead of a bunch of kids sending me the same email, they have a question. They go here. It may have already been asked and answered, hopefully by the time they get there. So um, that's what I've been doing um, with Canvas. And I like it. It helps me to remember what we did. It helps the kids remember what we did. And putting that little learning objective up front always helps them to remember sort of what we're doing. So again, set create a page that I just called it index. Um, and you create that page and you say, make that the home page. Let me show you that one more time. My cat here is just trying to get on the keyboard because of course that's what cats do. Let me go right here to, we're going to see all pages. Uh, I don't know why some, are, and some of them aren't, but um, let's get back to all pages. Come on, come on. There you go. So if I view all pages, we can now see that here's the list. It's popping up here slowly but surely. There's the one I made as the front page. If you want to make a different one on the front page, click on the little gear and say use this as the front page. And then it'll show up as front page. So these are all links from um, that main home page. I probably should re-add that at the bottom of this or maybe at the top of this. How to, more information about the course and all. So looking at that here I realize I should do that. But that's how I've been using um, Canvas. It seems to work. The students